So, there. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm just going to stop. This is the result. Let's just apply it to this very, very trivial example here. Okay? Because we've just shown this is not the way to do it. Okay? So, now, here's what I do. And I literally, um, I literally actually go about this process once I find my green, which I don't have. Um, I go through this process when I see a product. See a product, okay? I just designate one of them U, call that one U, and then I designate the other one V. It, it doesn't matter which one's which because a product uh, multiplication is commutative, so I'm gonna change the order. In this case, U and V are either ones, right? And so now I write out, okay, well, what is V U dash plus U V dash, okay? By the way, sometimes you'll see this written in reverse because addition is also commutative, but I think vuv sounds just marginally better than uvu, so anyway. <laughs> this is true, this is, and we'll get there with it. So okay, let's have a look at this. V is x, right? U is also x, so what's u dash? One. It's one, right? And then because these two things are the same, we're going to get exactly the same thing here. U is x and V dash is still 1, right? And so there's x plus x, which sure enough is 2x as you expected, right? How would you do this in just a slightly more complicated situation? Uh, let's have a think about, for instance, if I wanted to differentiate... Okay, let's do this. x squared plus 1 uh, square root of... X. I'll just do that. Okay. Now we could we could expand this out. Okay. I could do that would be x to the power of five on two, and x to the power of half, and then I could just treat it as powers. It's okay. It's just x. I'm sorry. It's just x because it's two. <laughs> oh wait, no, two. Absolutely. Don't worry, don't worry. What are you doing? Index laws, hooray! <laughs> Go home, Raph, you're drunk. All right, now, um, I could just expand this, but to get my head in the space of how to use this thing for the times when I can't just expand, okay, um, let's treat this as a U and a V. Okay, so you designate one of them U, you designate the other one V, okay, and then let's go through this V U dash plus u v dash by the way if you're going to write this down this is just another reason why it's useful if you're going to write this down then there has to be something which is u and there has to be something that's v if i didn't write this it's like where did you pull that out from you know a rabbit out of a hat okay so that's me justifying what's going on v is the square root of x okay u dash what's the derivative of this side it's just 2x okay plus there's u Okay, and we already established from first principles that the square root of the derivative of the square root of x, do you remember it? It's 1 on 2 root x. Okay? Now you can manipulate this algebraically and you'll get you'll get an answer. I mean 2x root x plus I'm just tidying up the fractions. Okay. You can put this on with a common denominator, it wouldn't be that hard. Um, shall we shall we quickly do it? Uh, let's see. If we put this all over 2 root x. Right? What would this become? This would be 4x squared plus x squared plus 1 on 2 root x. And so I guess that's 5x squared plus 1. And I suppose you could rationalize if you want, but it's done. Like, I've, I've done the critical thing. I've actually differentiated it. And all this other stuff is algebra. And I'm not fussed about it. This question doesn't particularly go anywhere. Like, I haven't asked for separate parts, so I'll just go from there. Can you just leave it in third line? Here, uh, up there. here. Um, Why? I probably, I, I think, I think one fraction is objectively simpler than two fractions or two terms, I should say. Um, so I, I think, I think this line is superior to this line. But you know, it like I like I keep saying, this word simplify. Simplify is is too generic a word to tell you in every situation. Yeah, you should have this or you should have that. You know, like when you first learn factorization, okay? It's like, oh, expanding and factorizing. Sometimes expanding is simpler, and sometimes factorizing is simpler. It kind of depends on what you're going to do with this result, right? So, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going to give you a yes, this or the other. Use your discretion, okay?